I fucking miss my carry-on suitcase, okay? Packing in a backpack is so fucking hard. It's like five days. Because I have a suitcase, but it's big, and I don't want to bring it because I'm lazy. And just the backpack's easier, but it also means fucking how am I going to bring all this stuff? Fun trips ahead. I'm excited. Also, look. I made a perfect, like, bun. No stuff sticking out in the back. Do you like it? I really like it. All right, back to packing. I guess cause I leave tomorrow. I'm gonna show you something that's fucked up when it's still the 29th of October. Christmas tree. Welcome to Rotterdam, second largest city in the Netherlands, known as the gateway to Europe, biggest port in Europe, and the port is why we're here. That ish direction. So, today, in a couple of hours, I'll get on a fancy taxi that will bring me to the Rotterdam Short Sea Terminal, and then I'll get on a container ship and go to the UK. So, not only is this completely wild, something I've never done before, something no one I know has ever done before, but um, so I'm kind of scared. You know, it's also really cool. So hopefully I'll be, you know, dressed for the occasion. It's not that warm here. Definitely won't be warm in the sea. But it just smells like the sea here. You can smell the salt and sort of the tar and the seaweed and... It might be cold than I'm used to because I was just in Monaco and Nice but it just makes it feel like home I think anywhere where there's sea I would feel like home all right I'll uh, try to see some stuff before I go to the immigration office and then suddenly I'll be on a container ship Okay, I'm now registered in the system. This is the immigration police office and then Of course, I got here way early. So there's 45 minutes until I'm getting picked up and then they're driving me to the ship Can you fucking This is my home for the next like couple of days. Holy shit. I'm here. I got a bag. Like one tiny. An entire desk and a sofa. TV. Closet. My own bathroom. And a view. Isn't it kind of wild that goods that you eat and buy every day are transported in ships like these? There's 9,900 dock spaces in Rotterdam. And we're on one of them. I don't know which one. And there are people sitting up there. It's in there loading this boat full and every time I swear to god it feels like we're moving and it's just so crazy there you see another one in the back it's filling out the other end of the ship 
and the sun is setting. And like the dog never sleeps. We're not leaving here until like 2300, maybe earlier, but most likely 2300, which is very late. But like the dog never sleeps, the transport business never sleeps. These are tons of people who come to work every day. Like, that seat is manned 24 hours a day and no one knows. No one thinks about it. Like, how many employers are responsible for, like, a singular banana? I don't know. Good morning from MS Hamidiki Shepherds. I've slept. So there. <sighs> There's no land outside yet. But we're not supposed to arrive yet. Oh, I need to go to get breakfast. And then I'm gonna spend some time on the bridge. and I'm only staying for like a hot minute because I'm going across the Thames over here, you can't say it but it's it's called Gravesend biggest Sikh temple in Europe but apparently the grave of Pocahontas so we'll try to see that I was gonna take a taxi but there was this guy who works at the dock who knew the captain of the ship I'm on so he just drove me here very convenient Took out some cash. It's nice to be back on British soil. So yeah. Seafarers are cool people. It's exciting times though. I like it. So yeah. Just gotta cross the Thames. 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 And then go see a Sikh temple. So here she is. Gosh, she was young, wasn't she? 22. She's literally 22. I'm 22. And here she is. This is literally the church she was buried in. It's called St. George's. And yeah, the real Pocahontas lies buried in this English graveyard. She was 22 year old. Oh my god, fuck colonialism. It's me! Um... This is big. It's called Siri Guru Nanak Darbar Gurdwara. Which is probably mispronounced. And there you can see the temple. Yeah, I'm gonna show you closer. Smoke, bake, nor drink alcohol, so we should be safe. Let's continue. This way, god. It's crazy. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, I, this is big. Whoa, okay, seen temples before, but this, like you see the people, this is so big, and it's so beautiful. 
I'm gonna see if I can get inside. Food. As I now leave the oh, I have some thoughts. I'm also hiccuping because I ate pretty fast if they gave me free food. So, I love religion and I think religion is lovely and this temple just proves why. To me, religion is nice because of the community, right? And they have that here, which geez, I think is lovely. Now, Thank you. Been broke lately, so which means I've been eating a lot of McDonald's and Burger King and stuff. But I'm in the UK now, so a pound buys you a sausage roll. So good. I am officially back on the docks. I got through security. She just wanted to see my passport. This is very lenient, you guys. Um. Because no one checked my passport when I exited, but that was... <laughs> um, also, the latest security didn't believe me when I said I knew where to go, so... I better not get lost. But I have a good memory, and I was told to basically follow the footpath, and eventually I'll leave the ship, so... <laughs> I don't think I'll get lost, but... You never know now, do you? It's a bit scary though, because you're not really supposed to walk. But here we are. Alright, bye. May have walked where I'm not supposed to or allowed to walk, but that's the show. Good morning. There's some container right outside my window, ruining my view. It's currently 8 a.m. ship's time or Roughly 8 a.m. and then roughly 7 a.m. local British time, which means we're delayed because we were supposed to depart from here at day. And I know they said it, that it would change to 9.30. It means an hour and a half delayed. However, I think it'll be okay because the taxi company, they understand according to the captain and my hostel in Amsterdam, which I'm only saying tonight. They said you could check in after midnight if you so desired if you just let them know first, which is also going. Looking for work out, that'll be good. Just a bit afraid that I'll be super fucking sleepy by the time I get anywhere. So, before the assumed arrival was like 7.30, 19.30. So if we're an hour and a half delayed, that'll be nine. Twenty-one in the evening. And then I gotta take a train to Amsterdam and that's like an hour that I first have to, you know, be picked up, possibly go through immigration again. I think they said they'd fix it, but I'm not sure. And then catch one of the trains. Walk from the train station to the hostel check in and get some sleep before I, tomorrow at this time, we get on a bus from Amsterdam to Strasbourg, so that's exciting. Yeah. Woo! That's very interesting. Yeah. Freaking 8 or 7 a.m. local time. Welcome to Sheerness. The last 10 seconds port before Rotterdam and the reason why we're delayed loves that for us
quite a lot of waves. And I'm a bit seasick. I figured out the best thing I can do for me is to go to bed. I'm gonna have a little nap while we're on the sea. There's no connection, computer data, internet connection anyways, and nothing's really happening until 5 p.m. So, with that, peace out. At this point, this is taking a while. And it's because I learned top speed is 18 knots, which is a bit more than 30 kilometers an hour. It's roughly 30 kilometers an hour. Which isn't very fast. Oh god, my piercing. So. We're swaving about a bit. And I'm listening to you like, but. All in all, I'm having a great time. See you. 